Okay, so today we're looking at greatest and least values on an interval. We know from previous lessons that we're able to find a maximum or minimum when we're looking for the turning point where the derivative is, is equal to zero. So if we do the dy dx and we find where it's equal to zero, we're finding the stationary points and then we're able to determine if they're maximum or minimum. We call these local maximums and local minimums. Now, if we're looking for the greatest or least value, it would depend on the domain that we're given. If we're given a domain, say, from, uh, from here to here, then they are definitely the highest and lowest point. However, if our domain is much bigger, they say out here or out here, we can see that the graph would be much higher up here or much lower down here than our local max and minimum, which we call our global max and minimum. So we would need to look at the end points of our domain to see if they're higher or lower than our max and minimum values. So what do we need to do? We need to find the end points. So if you're given a domain of negative three to three, you would want to find how high or low is that and how high or low is that. Then we need to find stationary points, determine if they're a maximum or minimum, and we can then compare and work out where our greatest and least values are.